Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium that will be hosting this elaborate show today. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks, there's so, so, so much to talk about today. So much. So I'm going to jump headfirst right into it all. All of it, all the goodies. Mm. Let's go get juicy, juicy. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Tony. Okay, so first and foremost, my 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 announcements. Um, if you have a question or you'd like to connect with a loved one, please call in 845-277-9131. That's it. That's the number. <laughs> Second. Um, okay. Second there. Oh my gosh. My head is like, like, a, like a ping pong ball, just being smacked all over the place from thought to thought, to thought, to thought, to thought of everything I want to cover in this show. And there's so stinking much to my beautiful, lovely, I adore you callers. Please stay on the line. I will be getting to you as soon as I can. Um, just a few little announcements for Okay, <clears throat> you can connect with me on all social media venues except Twitter. I can't log in and I don't, I, I don't have the motivation to change my password. So I'm done with Twitter. I'm done with Twitter. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> That's all it takes. I had my password saved. It is now gone. I can't get in. We're done. It's over. Our relationship is no more. <laughs> and yes, I, that's all it takes. I don't, I don't, I simply do not have the time or patience to change another password. <laughs> I didn't even know people were still tweeting, to be honest. Who tweets? <laughs> well, apparently must, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm on TikTok. I have two channels two channels on TikTok. And yes, I did start the live last week. It was awkward. I loved it. I loved it. And there were people, my little brother was there. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you what Stevie said. So they started by putting the numbing cream on my face. That looked like a whole glazed donut. And you know what I mean? That was not pretty. It was not pretty. <laughs> And then, um, and then, uh, thank goodness they did not let me do the procedure live um, for so, so stinking many reasons. But um, I'm going to go on my TikTok channel, Live Beauty Reviews, live.beauty.reviews, and talk a little bit more about that. Um, and I also have my Psychic uh, Tony channel, <clears throat> which I do clearings on. So I'm on YouTube, obviously, uh, Facebook, TikTok, and, and Instagram. Okay, I think those are them. Yep. Hey, Stevie, how are you? Love you, dude. Love you so much. I hope you're having a good day today. What's today? Monday. I think Stevie's working today. Um, so, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go again. Okay, there's been a lot in the news. And this is all I'm going to say. Oh, there's a butterfly. And for those of you that know, no, these are all distractions. Do not, okay, the way that spirit showed me this is, and it's perfect. I've never been to a rodeo. I've never ever been to a rodeo. I would like to go to one. I just don't want to see people get hurt. I really don't. But do you know at a rodeo, I guess, like the bull goes after the, you know, the red curtain or whatever the uh, material, whatever it is. And then there's a clown. There's a clown out there. And if the if the bull gets a, or or if the bull like throws the rider or whatever it is, there's a clown at the rodeo. There's a clown. And there's a bull and there's a third person. And whenever the third person, whether it's the rider or the sheet guy, um, is in trouble, the clown jumps in. 
you know where I'm going with this, don't you? You, you, and then everybody's watching the clown distract the bull, while the third person does all the stuff they need to do. Don't get distracted by the clowns. There's one agenda here. So all these people stepping down, all the things that are in the news, they're all distractions. Stay free, people. Stay free. This is when we actively let them know what they, we actively let them know, we know what their plan is, and it's a no-go. I'm going to um, say here, this would be the time to reach out to anyone in government or power and let them know, no, ad no agenda 2023, no agenda 2030, no. No, just make them aware that you're aware. Okay, having said that, next. Oh, the next thing, my heart pounds so hard when I talk about that. Oh my goodness. Listen, I want I want to say something here. There are a lot more people There are a lot more people than you know that are on the side of freedom and very well aware of what the agenda is. We're not allowed to talk about it because we get shut down. We get persecuted. We get called conspiracy theorists. Don't think you're alone. Don't. There is, a, 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 here's Kyrgyzstan. I know, I didn't think I would be able to say that, but amazingly, I, I am. When the whole thing started three years ago and their government shut them down, do you know how long it lasted? Three days. Do you know why? Because after three days, they said, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. And they revolted. And the, the big C word was never brought up again. Research it. Research it. Together we, together, united we stand, divided we fall. They're trying to divide us. It's called the United States. Now, this isn't only a United States thing. This is going on in many countries, but other countries are catching on also. Do not be distracted. Keep your eye off the clown. Keep your eye off the bull. Watch the guy because that's what's going on right now. Okay. There was something I wanted to say about, but for the life of me, cannot remember what it is. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. It's going to pop right in my brain in a second. Oh, my little leaf on my tree. Sorry, buddy. Um, it'll come back to me. It was it was a good relationship thing, too. Well, at some, part during, at some point during the show, it will come back. Okie dokie. Let's go to the first caller. Now, again, if you would like to call in, do you have a question? Uh, or you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please call in. The number is 845-277-9131. Ah, the crowd goes crazy. Ah, here we go. 509, 509, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Good morning. So, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Erica, and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey, Erica. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, I was hoping to connect with my grandpa. What's Jose. his... I'm sorry, love. What's his first name? Jose. Jose? Did you say yeah. Jose? 
Closer. Uh-huh. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So I'm seeing now, I see some, I hear some, and I I sense some. So, and if you have me on speakerphone, could you please take me off because there's some squeaking noise behind you and I don't want to mute you while I'm talking to you. Um, so the first, and it's really distracting. Oh. That squeaking noise is very, very distracting because it's kind of a high pitch. Okay, so I, here's what I'm going to tell you. The first sorry, person I- there were birds. Oh, I, well- <laughs> They, I'm going to tell you coming through the phone, they do not sound like birds, that's for sure. Okay, so the first person that I see coming through, whether this is your grandfather or not, it's the first person I see coming through. And the first person I see is very is thinner, a, a thinner person, older and thinner. And then the message, whether that's your grandpa or not, the message that I hear for you is... Um, Take, um, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. And I'm, I'm actually even hearing that song, which probably, I, I don't think this is probably, I don't know if your grandfather would have sang this song, but it's that, um, or even known this song, but um, that song that says, take it easy, don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. You may win and you, or you may lose. Um, something something or you may never something again um yeah i'm on it with the verses today just on it but that the the wheels is your mind the wheels that your grandfather is referring to in this case is your mind so don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy your own thinking drive you crazy meaning don't have repetitive thoughts don't have um obsess don't obsessively uh go uh, be thinking about things um let go and let god everything is going to fall into place for you don't worry it's all coming together um just take it easy take a breath in and let it out and don't um yeah don't, and again i'm hearing that don't let the sound everything. of your your own wheels drive you crazy now I'm going to tell you something, sweetie. If this isn't for something that's going on right now, this is for something that might be coming in in the near future. And what I want to tell you is they're just they just keep repeating that line. Don't let the sound of your own wheels. Don't let your mind make you crazy. Don't don't go into that um, uh, uh, repetitive thought, obsessive thought thinking thing. I do that. Oh my God. Do you do that? Do you get, do you like c continually just think and think and think and think and think? Cause I, I mean, my goodness, it's it. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I right. Do. I, I just worry. I worry. Yes. About I, like if I don't. Okay. So because I'm going to tell, I know I'm going off topic here just for a second, but I'm going to tell you something because of the work I do and because for anybody else in the world, I can get answers. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. I can get any answer, right? When it comes to myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> when it comes to wanting answers for myself, when it comes to asking questions about my situations and my life, do you think I'm Johnny on the spot? No, no, I am not. It seems a little unfair, right? <laughs> I will ask a question uh -huh. about something going on in my life. Will I get that answer? No. Does that seem fair to you? Does it? No. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm okay, let me get back on this. But no, and then I repetitively think about it. That's why I can so because then I'm trying to logically figure out what the heck is going on here. Um, so here's what I'm I but no, honestly, I do get answers to 98% of what I ask for about my own life, also. Um what I'm gonna tell you is they're oh, saying okay. Do not let yourself be trapped in your mind. And because everything is working out, there are things coming in that you don't see yet, but they're on your way, on their way into your life. And they're going to um, <clears throat> help you move forward quickly. They're going to help you move forward very, very quickly. Your grandfather wants to say um, that he... He loves you, 
He's watching over you. And when you see, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's a blue bird. It's a bird that's blue, uh, a blue bird. Okay. Because I didn't want you to think the name, um, the, there's a bird that's named a blue bird, but it's a bird that's blue. So whether this is in a picture, a tattoo, uh, 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 where, wherever you see it, if uh, uh, a billboard, whatever, if whenever you see a bird that is blue, that's a symbol that that he is with you and everything's working out. Now, I would think we don't see blue birds that often, but he's saying for some reason that you might see this when you need it. Not all the time, but just that little reminder. And also, okay, I'm just going to say it. I, I, <clears throat> dandelions dandelions and do you know why and he's telling me why and i'm going to tell you why because dandelions are invasive they're everywhere and even after you spray for them they come up and they're such a pretty yellow that's what he's saying they're such a pretty but they are really a beautiful brilliant yellow aren't they they really are and even though people think of them on, as weeds they're very very medicinal like dandelions help with cholesterol and high blood pressure and heart disease. And as a matter of fact, the, the, the prescription that you get for heart disease, they've tried to emulate what's in a dandelion. So if you just drink dandelion tea, just saying folks, just saying. And um, so anyway, um, dandelions. So whenever you see dandelions, know I'm by your side. I'm by your side. And he's singing that song, Stand By Stand By You. You uh, how does that song go? I st st and it's it's um uh, by oh my god, do not do this. I need to hold on, just give me a second here. Oh, it's by oh my god, it's by I think it's by uh that's why I'm blanking it out. It's by John, I think it's by John Lennon. Stand by me. I think that's the name of it, John Lennon. Um, whatever that song is, that is the that is the um, that is the song that lets you know he is standing by you all the time. He's always next to you walking. I'm walking this walk with you. You're never alone. That's what he's saying. Okay, there you go. There we got it. I hope this was helpful, love. Yeah. You know, um, he recently passed in February. Oh. And um, dandelions were his favorite flower. Oh, my and, um, <laughs> So that was shocking. Um, and I recently saw a hummingbird, but I think it was a gray hummingbird. I think, I don't know. I, I took a video of it and, um, it was the first time I ever seen a, a hummingbird come to nearby and it was like sucking a flower. That was so cool. First. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Uh, that's what I was just validating um but you said that something might pop in the near future or something like that but you didn't oh you didn't he, what um it what it, what um he was saying is is if your your uh repetitive thinking isn't about something that's going on now it will be in the near it will be about something in the near future and first i want to say i'm so sorry for your loss i'm so so sorry for your loss and i'm so grateful that that i I wasn't going to say the dandelion thing because it seemed, you know, who uses a dandelion? <laughs> but thank you for <laughs> confirming that for me. And the bird thing, any bird that's blue, pay attention. And that hummingbird was them, not only him, them coming through, letting you know they're with you. And also pay attention to the sky. Okay, so take your phone out at and point it towards the sky and put it on video. And when you see the little colored spot in it, 
you're going to know. You're going to know like you know, like you know, like you know. Okay, love? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. I just want to say you're so awesome and, and loving. That's why I I barely got to speak with you, I think, this month once. And um, I don't know, it was just amazing conversation and how um, respectful, really, you are of our situations without oh. judgment. I think that's what I liked the most. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. You are so kind and and I'm I'm so grateful that I can be here for people. But I, I want to say again, I don't take um, when when confirmations come when information comes through for you. It truly is your loved ones, your angels, your higher beings coming through, giving you the information. I'm just like empty headed so I can bring it through. I'm, 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 I'm not empty headed, but I just try to be the best conduit, the best channel possible for you. And thank you so much. And and I'm so grateful for you saying that, but, but give gratitude to your angels and your loved ones because they're the ones that show up and shine out for you and really make it happen for you. I'm just grateful I get to be a part of it and, and be witness to it. Um, and anytime, please call in and uh, I will do the best I can to do the best I can to bring you together or get you those answers that you need for your life. Um, and the, the last thing that is being said for you is don't have guilt or shame about anything in your life. Live like Live like you wrote the book to everything that happened, whether you like it or not, because you did write the book and embrace absolutely everything going on in your life and make your life shine. I think I, I, I just want to say this week and I want to say Wednesday, you're going to get a bit of a surprise. Whatever that surprise is, I'm not, I can't tell you because th th then it wouldn't be a surprise. And they know, they know I got a big old mouth. If they tell me, I'm telling you, <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, it's this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I have that day on my calendar. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Okay. That is so awesome. Thank you for that confirmation. Also, that is so freaking rocking. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, thank you. You are so welcome. And anytime you want, Bye. please call back. And thank you for sharing with us today. Thank, thank you so you. much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye bye, love. Uh, but stay stay tuned because there's going to be clearings and more coming in. So I want to tell everybody listening: when somebody calls in or comes into my office and they're really open the way she is, it makes it so much easier. When somebody comes in or calls and they're te they're testing to see if I'm real. <laughs> well, first of all, it it annoys them. So you really should not do it. It annoys spirit that you're wasting time like that. Just get to it and be open. Um, but also it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to get to your information because what happens is when you're guarded or testing somebody, you shut down your, your energy. And the way we get, not the way we get, but if you say like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to make her work for it or I'm going to test her. Your angels take that and your loved ones take that as don't give her the information. And then you just don't get everything the way um, you would if you're just open and allowing in the session. And I don't know why. I, I do know why people would test, but I have so much footage out here for years of me doing this work, taking anonymous like a pretty anonymous callers and getting them information i i can't understand for the life of me why people still test me but hey it's your your time your dime whatever you feel works for you 256 256 hey 256 what's your name where are you calling from i am my name is kimberly and i'm calling from georgia mm. I love me some peaches. Mm, not that, that, that is weird and random, but. 
<laughs> but Georgia is peaches. And you know what? I even have peaches in my smoothie this morning. Oh, I love peaches. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. How can I help you, beautiful girl? <laughs> I am in the job, navigating the job search, and I've gotten some some emails inquiring about, um, not offers yet, but inquiring about me, asking about me, and um, I just would like to know what I need to look out for. Yes. I'm not sure I, I am under. I, I'm, I want to make sure I give you the right answer and I'm understanding this. Um, what do you mean you want to make sure you, what do you, what do you need to look out for? So I guess, uh, let me rephrase the question. So my, my question is, um, <clears throat> are the, the jobs, the, the people that are coming to me now in reference to their interest in me, um, I guess, are those the ones that are going to say, you know, I want to give you a job or am I waiting for something else? Okay. This is what I'm here. I'm, I'm going to just answer it the way they're giving me the information. And hopefully this is very, very helpful for you. What I'm going to tell you is you are going to get a couple of offers near the beginning of the month. Um, now offers could be starting off as offers for a, interview and then a position, I'm going to tell you, you need to keep putting your information out there. You need to keep sending out. I'm also going to tell you, you need to expand your search, meaning um, you might be looking at this title right now for a position, but uh, be all inclusive. Expand the titles of the jobs that you are looking for. You're not giving yourself enough credit in your abilities. So you might be looking at, you know, this title for this type of position. But if you put in all the skills that you have, you might find that there are three different positions you could essentially look under and search for. I'm also hearing that you're going to be somebody is going to be coming in and helping you get the job the one you go for. Now, when I say somebody's going to be coming in, this could literally mean a friend that already works. It, it, let me not be so specific. It could mean somebody you know is going to come in and tell you about a position, whether it's at their company or another company, or they know somebody who works at a company that's looking, or a recruiter or headhunter of some sort, or you're just standing in in the in a checkout line and you hear about it. Believe me, what we overhear in other people's conversations is our angels giving us information we need. That's why I never feel bad being nosy listening to other people's conversations. I'm so kidding. I am so okay. I'm fifty percent joking on that one, folks. I'm kidding. I oh my gosh. Okay, I am going to thank everybody for joining me. I will be back Wednesday at noon. Ooh, holy cow! Oh wow! Um, something. Ah. Uh, my tree in front of me that's inside just did this whole shake thing. <laughs> I will be back Wednesday at noon of Central for another 30 minutes. Until then, have an amazing day.